Hi guys, PJ here. Today this is one of two videos I'm doing. I'm keeping them quite short so you can pick and choose. This particular one is read out and we're going through all the PC options and settings for the game. We do a little bit of gameplay just showing you uh, what sort of GPU, CPU usage it's got. In fact, if we just quickly there you go, flip on the usage uh, list there for you. Right, now then, we're running this on an ultra-wide monitor. It has booted directly into ultra-wide straight away and it supports Xbox One controller out of the box. At this moment in time, the game does not support a DS4 controller. Okay, so you've got to bear that one in mind. So if we go through some of the options, um, what have we got then? Here we go. Options. I've already had a quick look at this and I was quite impressed with some of the bits and bobs on here. For example, um, right from the top here, where we go? Right, your keyboard layout. There's quite a few different ones. You've got QWERTY or ZERTY, as I'll call it, a ZERTY. Okay. Uh, control scheme, red out or arcade. If you look at the controller options there, shifting. And what else have we got? Vibration on and off. I'll leave that one on. AI difficulty, red out, veteran. Or oh, what else have we got? Just veteran. Rookie. I'll leave it on rookie because this game is very much like a, an F0 type game. So, uh, you know, its roots are set back in the old days. Let's have a look here. Uh, your volume goes all the way up to 100 and adds zero. The music, sound effects. This is a good one, though. Output format. We're currently on stereo. And surprisingly, 5.1. There we go. No 7.1, just stereo and 5.1. But that, that's good enough because you rarely get 5.1 these days. Uh, going down to video. Measurement system metric or imperial. Screen hood on and off. There you go. Ship hood on and off. Resolution quality. So if you want to super sample it, you can push that up. Obviously, that's pretty GPU intensive. So think about that. Try the game before pushing that up any higher than 100%. Obviously, you can drop below, but you know it's going to be doing upscaling. So it's going to look a bit fuzzy. Try and keep it native resolution and drop your effects down instead. You will get a nicer image. So if you're struggling, try and leave that to 100 and move other things down okay uh, resolution like i said i'm running on ultra wide so there we go for that one i plugged it into a 4k tv and it recognized it all the way up to the top of what your gpu can run it at goes down to 640 by 480 on the lowest setting i also tried 900p and 1080p no problems at all the game doesn't appear very taxing so uh, that's good news uh, you got your usual full screen and windowed and borderless anti-aliasing pretty much the same for all of these epic high medium and off there we go you can even see the background changing there as we do that anti-aliasing is not normally too intensive so uh, you shouldn't really you know be worried too much about that post-processing again epic high medium and off big difference with off there and on my system automatically set to epic um so like i say it's not too in intensive uh system spec is in the uh you know in the uh, comment section below so if you have a quick look at the description on the video my system specs there still running the old system guys if you've watched my videos before i'm still on the older system i haven't finished building the ryzen system yet okay um shadow quality this one is a big hit on performance so you could scale this down if you're struggling there you go all the way to off Get back onto epic they're all going down to off, yeah? So texture quality, another big hit on GPU. Effects quality, view distance. Drop that one down if you're struggling as well. Even dropping it from epic to high makes a nice difference. Motion blur, V-Sync on. I'll set that to off. My monitor is free sync, so it's not needed. Uh, max GPS, loads of options here. We're on unlimited, and it goes down to 248. 200 165 144 there's your golden one for most people if you want 144 frames per second lock on your monitor if you've got a g-sync monitor 120 190 75 60 and 30. now 30 is an interesting option because it just doesn't play like an f0 type game should don't play it at 30 drop any setting you can to get it above 60 it's well worth it 30 years horrendous and yes PC guys you know what I'm gonna say all the base consoles are 
run various FPSs. Xbox One is 30. PS4 at 1080p is, uh, it runs at like 45 frames per second. It's sort of up and down. Um, Xbox One is not native res, it's lower. PS4 Pro holds 60 and does a nice uh, 4K imitation. So that's a decent one. If you've got a console, go that route. Or if you don't want to go PC for some unknown reason. Right, so let's go back and quickly have a quick race. Uh, I've not played it yet. Like I said, I just had a quick look at the options. So let's go into quick race and see what it looks like. And will I have to lower anything down? Now right, let's go. How long we take to load? We're installed on a 7200 speed hard drive. It's not on an SSD. Uh, the install size is about four and a half gig. So uh, it's, it's not too bad. You know, it's not going to read that much data as it were. Let's see how we do with this. Not played uh, an F-Zero type game for absolutely ages. Well, since F-Zero was out. Show me age there, aren't I? Okay. So, what we got at the moment? Uh, I reckon we're going to use a good 3 gigabytes of VRAM looking at this loading. Yeah. What else have we got? FPS, 90s, 100s. 8 gigabytes RAM looks enough. CPU, no, not stressed in the slightest. GPU at 95%, so if anything, we'll be GPU bound by this. But then again, we're running over 100 frames per second on this menu. Three, Let's two, go. One, go. And there we go. We are running 79, 85 frames per second. Yeah, easy game to run, okay? So, uh, as you can see, loads of effects running there, particle effects. We've got uh, what looks like specular illumination going on as well. Very nice PC version. Should scale very nicely. Um, I've talked to a few people I know, and it ran on a GTX 660, which is pretty old now, uh, without any problem. This is how you want the game to be, very, very fluid. You do not want it slowing down. You do not want 30 frames per second, let's face it. Gorgeous looking game, fantastic graphics. Whoops, hit the brake there a bit too hard. Lots of particle effects and we were still on 80 odd frames per second there. That's fantastic for epic settings. Okay, so we are running at three gigabytes GPU. What we'll do now is quit out. I'll go the extreme opposite and stick it on low so you guys can see what is the lowest denominator we can get away with. Still on ultra wide, of course. You could go lower if you went to uh, you know, a lower res. Okay. Let's... Can we uh, change the options in the game? Oh, I don't think we can. Let's have a look. Resolution quality. Well, we can. This is good. Okay, so let's go down. Everything on low or off. Be surprised if it doesn't want me to restart the game for this because I'm changing everything to the worst it can possibly look. Like I say, to go lower than this, you would have to drop the resolution. Oh no, we can actually. Wow, there we go. There you go. There's your Xbox 360 team. <laughs> uh, we're now getting 115 ish frames per second all the time. Up and down from that a little bit, 120 odd frames per second. And VRAM's down to 2.8 gigabytes. I know to reload some of the textures, you've got to reload the game. So, uh, like I say, you can run this on a 2 gigabyte card. I've seen it running on, or heard about it running, should I say, on a 660. But there we go. No problems at all. Does look nicer on Epic though, doesn't it? Well guys, I hope this video is of some use to you. Um, if you want to see a review of this game, that's on my other Red Out video, uh, which, in which I include the consoles as well as the PC release, because they don't all score the same. I will stress that. So jump over and watch that if you're looking for a review. This is literally just to go through the options and show you how the game performs. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again next time.